Still on the rod. Hook down here at the bottom. Still on the jig. Gotta love that caddis fly. What's going on you guys and welcome to another episode of the Pond Chronicles and today I'm coming at you with part two of the Caddis Fly Pandemonium. That's right guys, part two, the second location where I put the Caddis Fly to the test. Well I have the same results as I did the first one. Will it live up to the standards that I have to make it into rotation for my ultralight fishing how will it hold up at the river we've seen how it held up in part one at the lake had an exceptional result we caught several species we caught you know bluegills we even caught some small bass pumpkin seeds you name it every time that lure hit it was ringing that dinner bell but the ultimate question is how will it pan out at the river well guys, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's roll that beautiful pond predator footage. Guys, we are riverside once again. You see the little baby bass in here. There's a ton of them. Jeez, our water's cold. See if I spot anything up here. Yes, sir. Got one. Guys, it's the first fish out of the river. Another baby bass. Baby bass, baby bass. Son, I am loving it. This looks like it may be a baby largemouth, possibly. Off the caddis fly. So look at that. The second bass of the day. So here's a bigger one right up there. I'd love to try to get him. Ha. Had it and he picked up. Dropped it. I about took this one off. Yeah, there's one staged up right there too. I don't think I'll be able to link up with him. You can barely see his silhouette. Oh, crap. Hooked on 
somebody else's line. Get it? Yes. Saved my, my rig. Here's the number two catch, guys. A little bluegill. A river bluegill. No. That's a sunfish. It could be a bluegill. Help me out in the comments. Let's pop that off. Look at him again real quick. Look at that, guys. Bam. Beautiful. Let's let him back loose. And guys, when I pulled in here, there wasn't anybody here. And a guy pulled up right when I was coming down, but usually, there's usually at least 15 to 20 people along the banks here, fishing and all that other good stuff. So you can see the, the bugs and tadpoles in this area. This place is gorgeous, I mean, it's just teeming with life. Absolutely teeming with life. It's starting to get muggy now. It'll kind of float. Got him. What in the bass? Check it out, guys. I'm telling you guys, this I'm loving this caddis fly. That's what I caught them off of, guys. Whoop. Look at him again real quick. Let's get him back in there. Oh yeah. What about that, guys? This bluegill is bigger. Check it, the size of this river donkey. A river donkey. It looks like it just got finished spawning, maybe. Popping back up. Look at him real quick. It's a nice size bluegill. Let's get sandwich size. And there he goes. Should we go after another one? Oh, I think we shall.
There's another one. A little bit smaller. But still, another beautiful bluegill. Guys, you are not going to believe this. I was getting ready to tie off, retie anyway. But check this. It caught. That trout made it caught on the line down at the bottom of the reel. Let's look at him real quick again, guys. Beautiful fish. Go ahead and let him go. And it's time to retie. I'll be right back with you. Alright guys, we're back. To cap it off, or recap a little bit. I've caught bluegills, sunfish, long ear, shell crackers, largemouth bass, I think a baby smallmouth. Um, and maybe a spotted bass too. All off this caddis fly. It's another one guys. This one's bigger than that last one. Yep. Check it out. Bam, there's another one. Look at them real quick. Good eating size. can't get over it because this spot here I've literally there's another there's a bigger size one right there I want to try to get one of these bigger bass and I'm sitting here I'm looking at I have told you before this place they stage and stage you can throw everything in your arsenal at it and they aren't budging in the least. There's another one. No sooner am I putting it in the water, guys, they're hitting it. Yeah, they may be small, but hey man, we're catching fish. And this is by far fulfilling the mission that I'd set forth today. Putting this caddis fly from Nico to the test. Man, needless to say, that is a school of bluegill right in front of me. Here's another one, guys. Man, I love the mornings. Especially right now, it's not incredibly hot. Because guys, let me tell you what. I don't know about you, but here in Kentucky, it's been in the hundreds. 90 plus degrees with over 100 heat index. 
humidity it's been killer so today was part two of putting that caddis fly to the test and all in all it slayed them that is the most productive day that I've had at the river or not at the river at Green River the most productive today we caught several species we even caught a few bass and it was an all-around fun day so bottom line is this guys when it comes to ultralight fishing when it comes to pan fishing in general the Nico caddis fly is getting the pond predator stamp of approval it'll be joining the ranks in the arsenal of the Martiz grasshoppers the bass reaper blunt the Nico helgramite the Nico tadpole the schooler shad the Rapala teeny R's, the weed crawls. It's going in that rotation. And I'm glad that I made that decision. I've had that caddis fly on there for, at the time of doing this intro and outro, it's been rigged up for probably about three weeks now. It's been handling great made the same material as the Helgramite and Tadpole and I'm still using it guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't checked out the last part the first part in this caddis fly pandemonium I'll put a, mark, a card right here go and check it out you won't be disappointed if you want to check out some of my other Campbellsville adventures and river adventures I'll put a card up there as well but guys so be sure to hit that like button. Check out the rest of the channel. If you like what you saw today, hit that subscribe button too. Because guys, guess what? It doesn't cost a thing. And here's the best thing. If you've done part one and part two, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You only got one left, one part left to do. And that's hit that bell button there on the right so you can be one of the first people to know when the next episode of the Pond Chronicles drops. And until next time, Give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day, but teach him and he'll never go hungry again. Tight lines, everybody. Later.